you guys would turn around and face the audience. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to present the individuals who are publicly proclaiming this morning their faith, that they belong to Jesus, that they want to live their lives for Jesus. I'm going to invite them to take a moment and share their testimony. Afterward, um, we're going to pray over them, and then uh, we'll begin the baptism. So. Um, so I was thinking last night about today, um, baptism, and a verse kept popping into my head, which is uh, Luke 9, 23 and 24, which says, And he said to all, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross daily, and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. Um, and while I'm not going to go too much in detail to what it means, um, what stood out to me um, was his call um, to just give up my earthly plans, dreams, and agendas and trust that um, he'll replace them with his own. And although I know my, I sin against God and deserve to be separated from him, I know that the only way to be reconciled to him is through his son. A little over a year ago, um, by God's grace, I accepted Jesus as my personal Lord and Savior for the first time. And over the past year, I can honestly say that Jesus has radically changed my life. Um, and yeah, today I'm getting baptized as a response to um, Jesus' command and, command and example and as a reflection of my inward faith. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Puneet Dev Nalathambi. I was born into a Christian family, um, a nice South Indian Christian family. And as any good Christian family over there goes, uh, they baptized me as an infant, um, which is good. I'm happy they did that. Uh, so at that time, people would call me as a Christian because I was born into a Christian family. But now I can say I'm a Christian not only by birth, but also by faith. Um, so that's why I'm here to follow Christ's example and to obey him and get baptized. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Aditi. I came to the States like four years and a couple months ago to do my PhD in Baylor. Um, so in the question of why I'm getting baptized, um, I don't really have much to say. And that's kind of why I'm here, because I'm so much in peace with it. I was born in a conservative Hindu family, and I went to a conservative Catholic uh, missionary school. So I did what any normal person would do. I dissected them both. <laughs> Until one time, it, like, I realized that I was so tired of criticizing. Like, I was a skeptic by profession. Like, it's, ex it's what people expect of me, that I'm going to be skeptic. And that's what I was until I realized that it was way too tiring. And then I met Puneet. And uh, I realized that at the end of the day, all I had to do was believe. And that's why I'm here today, because I believe. And I'm here to obey Christ and do immersion baptism. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> I was kind of nervous. But um, I'm Victoria. And um, I, uh, was gr <laughs> I graduated from UCD this May. And um, I'm just so happy to see my three sisters here. Um, I grew up in a Buddhist family, um, and I uh, converted to Christianity a year ago, and um, <laughs> it's definitely been an adventure. Um, and so I'm going to start off with this quote from uh, Up. It's called, it's, uh, adventure is out there. And I just feel like that's um, what happened, that's what's been happening to me ever since I decided to follow Christ. Um, if you guys know anything about this movie, it's basically about this elderly, grumpy man that you know, lost his wife, and um, and I can just totally relate to that, just because, no, not to the wife, but, like, basically, <laughs> I lost my, I, I lost my dad um, when I was a freshman in high school, and, and it, it just really rocked um, um, all of my family, um, and we just didn't really know what to do, and, and so, <laughs> for a long time of my life, I was just, like, Carl, just this grumpy man that just kind of just didn't want to deal with anyone, um, just trying to make my own way. Um, and as you guys know, there was this little boy scout in that movie, um, Russell, and, and I just feel like 
now just accepting Jesus, I, I just feel like Russell, like, each and every day, um, life is an adventure, you know. Um, you know, sometimes I am a car and I'm just like, oh, I hate the world, you know, stuff like that. But um, I just feel like um, God puts people in my life. Um, I have an amazing family that through everything, um, they support me. And, um, and I just, life is an adventure, you know. Adventure is out there. And I just am so blessed to have this wonderful family, to have this um, wonderful mom, uh, even though things happen in your life. Oh, sorry, I'm kind of sick too. And um, even though things happen in your life, like life is an adventure and Jesus will always be there for you. And just like Doug in the movie, the little dog, is just like, hi, I just met you and I love you. I just feel like Jesus is like that, right? And he loves us dearly and he wants us, he's there for us. Life is an adventure through our ups and downs and we can only look up, right, with Jesus. So, yeah, that's me. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Uh, I'm Vicki. Uh, I grew up in a Christian home. I was really involved in church for a while. Um, and then I got to college, um, learned more about the church, and was really angry and bitter about how exclusive it can be. And so I gave up on the church um, and thought that what Jesus said was good about social justice. So I tried to pursue that on my own. Um, and fast forward to moving here to Dallas. Um, I got a great job, um, I have the best husband at home, uh, had everything I could ask for, trying out the fun things in Dallas, but I would go to sleep feeling really empty because um, I had gotten to a point where I lost my faith along the way. I, f I thought it was ridiculous to pray, I thought it was even more ridiculous to talk about faith to someone, to anyone. So uh, um, I was just searching for uh, uh, community of Christ, and Mike and I stumbled on Lost City Church, um, and as you can tell by the message, uh, they really don't water anything down here, and so um, it really broke my heart, and um, I could hear that God um, just wanted to take all my anger and my bitterness and emptiness and give me love and peace and return, which is like a miracle. Um, and so over this past year, I've been uh, just struggling through a lot of questions still and still angry from time to time, uh, a lot still, but um, I have this peace to hold on to and just all-encompassing love. And I'm here to ask you to keep me accountable to that and to stay in this walk. Um, and so I, I thank you so much. I'm standing here for my daughter, Najia. Her name is Najia. Um, she's been in the church since day one. Um, she was born um, with a lot of um, difficulties. They say she wouldn't walk. Um, she wouldn't be able to talk. Um, she was losing her hearing. Um, but as you can see, I had to put my faith in God because what the doctor tells you is what they learn. That's book knowledge. But what I know is what God has told me, that he has the last word. So as you can see, she's walking, she's talking, she's doing everything that they say she wasn't going to be able to do. So she's been in the church, like I said, from day one. She loved to sing uh, about God. Um, she cries on certain songs that she hears. Um, she just, she just loved God, and for her to be 
um, and the way that, the way that she she is, it, it's hard for her to you know, it's hard for people to understand. How does she know what God you know what God can do? She can tell you, I love God. I love God. I love Jesus. She sings the song. She she she'll tell anybody. She prays at night, and um, and she just she just full of life. And I know that her being baptized and um, doing the the work of the, of God that she's she's been doing that since day one. So this is nothing new for her. This is this is another chapter in her life for her only to be ten. Um, this is just a new new chapter for her, and I know that she's gonna do what God tells her to do. Amen. My name is Nazia, and I believe God died for me, and God saved our sins. And he rose again from the dead. Amen. My, na my name is Monica. And I believe in God. And I want to do his work. And, and love everybody. Amen. Okay, my name is Shakari, um, and um, I I do trust that God um, died for us and um, rose again like three days later. So and like um, so I'm getting like baptized to um, to um, just be like closer to Him and stuff. So yeah, Amen. Um, my name is Charnel, and um, I'm 14, and um, I um, I just want to say that um, I trust that God, not God, but God um, died for our sins, and um, today I'm getting baptized to, um, today I'm getting baptized, um, <laughs> wait, I'm trying to remember my script, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Today I'm getting um oh well I'm getting baptized so that um, I could be close to Jesus and God and um, so that I will have Him in my life and that um, I'll be able to have eternity in Him well, not in, in Him but with Him and that um, so yeah and um, also I want to thank uh, Rita Celali Chavez and Auntie Mimi. You guys know her by Jamila. I'll call her Auntie Mimi for um, being very open-minded uh, for me because uh, when I went up to Chicago, I was having a hard time. So you guys can be praying for me in that. And I just want to thank T.T. Debbie, too, for taking us in because she didn't have to. Uh, I'm going to get a mic to Shamari now. <laughs> <laughs> um, my name is Shamari. Um, I've been baptized before, but it was all my mom's fault. <laughs> like, I didn't know what, what, what I was doing. All I know is that I was going in water, it was cold, and I was eating after. That's all I knew. So, <laughs> so like, now that I'm old enough to, um, like, make my own decisions, I feel like I can really trust God, and I can really put my full faith in him so um yeah that's that's really why i'm getting baptized um for the past couple of years i've been having a lot of anger like built up because i don't talk but um i hope now after i get baptized and i talk more with god and jesus that they help me with my anger management problems and it helped me fill my heart with happiness instead of anger. And um, 
I just want to thank my mom. She, <laughs> she's been there for me from, from day one. I mean, she had to be there for me for day one, but <laughs> you get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, I want to thank my auntie, Jamila. I call her Mimi, but y'all know her as Jamila. I want to thank her for helping me when I was down and when I really didn't look up to God and I just wanted to do stuff by my own. But I just want to thank my family for helping me. I want to thank Pastor Sam for coming up here every Sunday, preaching, even though he, he know he don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> I know he'd rather just stay at home, watch cartoons with the kids, you know. <laughs> but I just want to say um, thanks. And yeah. I'm going to invite you guys to stretch your hands out for them, and I'm going to invite Roy, one of our elders, to come and lead in prayer. But before I do that, if God is laying any of them on your heart and you just want to lay hands on them and pray for them, uh, you're welcome to come and surround them and just bless them. So, so if you want to do that, you're welcome to join. Um, um, and then we'll pray. Father, this is, this is an exciting day, Lord, for the body of Christ, Lord. We just thank you, Lord, as these 12 individuals come to you, Lord, to take a bold step, Lord, in their next step in their faith, God. Yes. Lord, they are here to show the world, Lord, their love for you, Jesus. Christ, Lord, as you died on the cross for our sins, Lord, you were buried in that tomb and you rose up from the dead, Lord. These believers are wanting to do the same, to identify with you, Lord, as they, as they take baptism, Lord. Lord, I pray for each and every one of them, Lord. All walks of life, Lord. So many different testimonies we heard today of their lives, Lord, and where you brought them through, Lord. And we just thank you, God, that, that you have been in their lives and, and, and you brought them even to this day, Lord, uh, to continue to guide them in their lives, Lord. Lord, I pray for each and every one of them as they, as they, as they take this step in their faith and, and um, get baptized and and not just today, Lord, but for the rest of their lives, Lord, that you are continuing to be in their lives and guiding them, Lord, uh, as they go through their lives. And, and, and these people here, as, our, as a body of Christ, uh, we are going to be there as a family for them, Lord. And they're going to be part of this church body, Lord. And we just thank you, Lord, uh, as we can be there and surround them with love and joy, Lord. Thank you, God, for everything, Lord, that you've done in all of our lives, Lord. And I just pray, Lord, for everyone here, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, I'm going to invite um, those of you who are getting baptized, if you could line up over here against that wall, and then we'll go one by one. Um, and then the rest of you guys, everything should be on screen so you guys can see. But if you want to take pictures, uh, if you could help by standing on either side so that everyone else can see clearly. But um, let me invite the first person. warm enough? Last time we did baptism, um, we never had a heater, um, and the water was like freezing cold. I mean, it froze their sins away. It wasn't, um, <laughs> this time um, we were wise enough to heat the water, and so he could sit in there for a little while. It's good. Uh, when, after they're baptized, I invite you guys, this is a celebration. Let's celebrate. I mean, you can shout, you can Praise God. Uh, don't jump up. And, I mean, don't jump up here or anything, but just celebrate. God is faithful. God is good. We're celebrating the work of Jesus in their lives. So I'm going to ask you a couple questions. Do you trust Jesus to be the only way to heaven to, uh, for, for the forgiveness of your sins and the promise of eternal life? Do you believe that Jesus died and rose again for your sins um, and that because of that, you now belong to him? 
do you commit by God's help that you will live the rest of your life for God's glory and his honor? Because of your confession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do you trust that Jesus is um, the one that provides the forgiveness of your sins, that only through him do you have eternal life? Yes. Do you believe that Jesus died and rose again for your sins? Yes. Do you commit by God's help that you will live the rest of your life for his glory? Because of the confession of your faith, it's my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. trust that Jesus alone for the forgiveness of your sins and the promise of eternal life? I do. Do you believe that Jesus died for your sins and rose again to give you new life? I do. Do you commit to live the rest of your life by God's help for his glory and his honor? I do. Because of the confession of your faith, it's my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Claudia, do you trust Jesus to be the one that forgives your sin and the one that guarantees you eternal life? I do. Do you believe that Jesus died and rose again for the forgiveness of your sins? I do. Do you commit to live the rest of your life by God's glory, uh, by God's help, the rest of your life for his glory and his honor? I do. Because of the confession of your faith, it's my joy and privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Monica, do you believe that Jesus died for your sins? Do you believe that um, Jesus will guarantee you eternal life? Do you promise or commit by God's help to live the rest of your life for God's glory? Because of your confession of faith, it is my joy to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Jesus died for your sins? Do you believe that he rose again to give you new life? Do you commit by God's help to live the rest of your life for God's glory? Because of your confession of faith, it is my joy to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
Do you trust Jesus for the forgiveness of your sins and for eternal life? Yes. Do you believe that Jesus died and rose again for you? I do. do you commit to live the rest of your life by God's help for his glory and for his name? I do. Because of the confession of your faith, it's my joy to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah! you belong to Jesus. We believe that you're his, that he loves you, that he will always love you, and that one day you will get to see Jesus face to face along with the rest of us, and that you will worship him as Lord and Savior with the rest of us declaring that he is Lord and Savior. So this morning, it is my joy and my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. trust that Jesus died for your sins and gives you eternal life? Do you believe that Jesus died and rose again for you? Do you promise or commit by God's help to live the rest of your life for his glory? Because of your confession of faith, it is my joy and privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> trust that Jesus is your Lord and Savior and promises you eternal life. I do. do you believe that he died and rose again for the forgiveness of your sins? Yes. Do you, by God's help, commit to live the rest of your life for his glory and his honor? I do. It is based on your confession of faith that I baptize, I baptize you now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. trust in Jesus for eternal life, believing that he died for your sins? Do you believe that he rose again um, on the third day and that he's coming back one day for you? Do you commit to live the rest of your life by God's glory, by God's help for his glory? Based on the confession of your faith, it is my joy to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> trust in Jesus for the forgiveness of your sins and for eternal life? I do. do you believe that he died and rose again for your sins? I do. do you commit by the help of God to live the rest of your life for his glory and his honor? I do. Based on the confession of your faith, it's my joy to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> 